this looks like a good spot for a little seam, a mini seam. So first, we'll cut a piece of paper out for a template for the base of our mini seam. That's step one. Back into the shed to cut it out of a bit of plywood. There's our base. Right, the baseboard's been painted and now we're going to attempt to put some wire fencing on. Now, using uh, good old aluminium fly wire for that and cut into appropriate size strip and um, we'll attach that to the little fence posts along the edge there like that. We'll run that on that side and around the that edge as well which is goes up against the the railway line something to that effect and uh, also string a wire along the top of the posts that's the usual sort of fashion around these parts so we'll go ahead with that and I should be back Just midway through sticking the uh, fence on and the wiring onto the fence. Holding on there with some tiny little pegs. And once that dries we can get the rest of it done. Good old Tarzan script. Right, buildings are now glued down into place. And once that sets, we can start getting a little bit of shrubbery and greenery elsewhere. A bit more detailing. And I've got to thank my wife for that extra little painting and touch like that's going on here. She's been um, playing around with those. They've all come up pretty good. Once we get a bit of stuff down on the ground, that'll all meld in together. These um, little leads sticking out from underneath there, uh, they go back to some LEDs which are inside that little little house there. 
for a little bit of lighting. Now just as illustration purposes, I'll show you how we um, put all the ground cover on that little mini scene. So I use this little bare patch of baseboard to show you the general idea of what, what we got up to. You've got um, a squirty bottle with water and a, a tiny smidgen of detergent in it to disperse it. I'll watered down PVA glue and all our various scatter materials like little woodland scenics, green fine grass and and also our um, sands and such like. So the first trick is to get a bit of moisture on to the little area you're going to do. Zoom in that a bit closer. And from there, you want to get a, a bit of your watered down aquadier in there. And because you've already wet it down, that'll disperse out fairly readily. And on top of that, in this case, we want some of that river sand to match in with the ballast and that. So you just start sprinkling like so and until you've got a, a bit of coverage happening there's our first little layer yeah as you can see when it's nice and watered down it, it disperses through your material much easier and don't worry that that'll give you a seamless join to everything else that's already there because it seeps into the other rocks and sands that you've already put down. So you've got your base sand down and you can start adding different colours, whatever takes your fancy at the time. And just keep adding it and building it up. Until you're reasonably happy with the result. Get a bit more of that on. And we'll put a bit more green in there as well. It will fluff a bit of our woodland scenic green over that little area. And the glue will soak into that and hold it all together. And we've got, got rocks. Here's some rocks that I've prepared earlier. And you can sprinkle those in to match your terrain however you like. And dribble a bit of the equity out on top of them and let it dry and come back 24 hours later and it'll be very much like this stuff over here.